Um, I'm not going to go too much into this, but a lot of parents express concern and students express concern. They have no idea what I want to do with my life. And that is okay. You don't need to know right now. But maybe remember I talked about that first slide in setting goals is some self-inquiry. This kind of fits in there. Um, this U Science that you see in the middle is my absolute favorite resource for um, parents. What we had is like career guidance. Remember doing those assessments and things like that. You bubble in and says, would you rather make pottery or would you rather work at a desk? You know, those like random questions that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, the research behind U Science is unbelievable. Students, you're doing a series of questions and kind of modules for your problem solving. And as you're problem solving, they're analyzing your aptitude. So what you're naturally good at, they're evaluating that. Then they do a section on your interests, because interests matter, and then they match up your aptitude and your interests uh, and give you some suggestions. Um, I personally did it a couple years ago and was blown away with how accurate it was. Um, you get a membership, I think it's one time maybe $30 or so, but it's good for 10 years. So imagine you do it now, you do it again as a senior, you do it again as a sophomore in college, to declare a major, and then maybe you do it again later on. As many times as you need to do that, because your interests are going to change. Your aptitude is generally done, but interests definitely do. So that's a fantastic resource um, that I highly highly recommend. So thinking about college, uh, this is where I want y'all to be. You're about to go on a college visit. Tenth graders are going on Tuesday to Georgia College and Piedmont College. Ninth graders are going to go in March to Kennesaw State and Barry College. So my intention with setting those trips and, and what I want you to do is if you find your dream school, that's great, but that's not why I picked these campuses. I picked them because they're all different and they're going to show you what's out there. I just want to expose you to different types of campuses. Same thing when we plan trip week as the juniors. I try to pick five very different schools in very different settings. And so maybe a small rural school, maybe one in a small college town, maybe one that's urban, maybe one that's big and suburban. So I really try to mix it up and that's what I'm doing. I want you to think about these pieces that are going to make up the puzzle for you. What's truly going to make you happy? Can you imagine going to college where they don't have a football team? Right? Is that like a huge piece of school spirit for you? If so, that's a very valid puzzle piece. If you really want a particular major, or if you really want to do undergraduate research, you need to make sure that they offer that at your college. So it really depends, but this is kind of the mentality that I want you to, uh, to kind of approach this process with, is what are the pieces I need to be happy, and then how do they all fit together to find the place that's going to be uh, best for me. Quick little story, there's a cheeseburger test, the last one. Um, Maureen Downey, Dr. Kennedy, uh, shared this article with me a couple weeks ago, and it was talking about big school versus small school and what's going to be a good fit. And she said, if your child goes to a restaurant and orders a cheeseburger, and it comes to the table, and there's no cheese, are they going to say, excuse me, I ordered this with cheese, and I need to put cheese on it? Or are they going to say, you say, you don't say anything, right? Because I'll see it. Um, so, the point of the story was, if you're going to raise your hand and say, uh, this isn't quite right, I need some cheese, if you're going to be a self-advocate for those big schools, you're probably going to be okay, right? Because in that large setting, you have to advocate for yourself. And if an advisor says, oh yeah, take these classes, figure it out, and you go to register and they're all full, if you're not going to advocate for yourself, you're not going to make it. All right? So if you're that kid, it's like, oh, please don't make any ways. I'm just going to just going to suck it up and do what they told me to do. A big school is going to be a tough place. All right? They're going to have to either adapt a little bit or look at some smaller schools where it's going to be more likely to do it. Just say, oh, you know what? You did ask for cheese, didn't you? Let me take care of that for you before you say anything. All right? So think about that and kind of your personality. I thought that was a really neat way um, that Brian Downey suggested that you about college. Um, 